uh, this. Okay. Uh, you good on the side? Okay. Uh, yeah, so this session was not uh, planned uh, until yesterday. Uh, so we decided to show you some real websites built on Cblood. Uh, and after, if you want, uh, we can have some questions and answer, answers about specific, uh, uh, well, your specific uh concerns with the blood with the blood. so one of the websites for built for general electrics okay it's a blog for uh their uh, global research section okay um it's based on a template uh it's a u theme template basic one we've customized okay and here, everything is so, except modules, of course, but all the content is managed by blog. So, the slider, the carousel, okay, it's based on a template um, which uses the bootstrap uh, carousel uh, HTML, okay. So, we've created the, the template with the, the CSS and, H, and HTML for bootstrap, uh, and we load. The content for it so we have a specific content type for here where we set a text a description an image and if there's no image a background color okay uh, same here different content type for the for this one text title description background image only and we apply uh, HTML uh, so there is an H2 there, an H3, and the text is, uh, there is nothing on this one. Okay. Slow. No. Okay. Uh, here we have a, uh, a search uh, and a list, in fact. Okay. We have a specific content type for this one, which was called uh, blog. Same again, title, uh, description, an image. Uh, here it's the created date, okay? So it's automatically filled. And we have um, what we have called the contributor field. So they can, and uh, they just set their image. The name of the contributor and his uh, title, okay? His function in the, in the company. We've uh, also implemented a comment, uh, the comment application. Okay, so we, we can see for this item we have nine uh, comments. Uh, so it's a blog template used here on two columns. Upcoming events is um, it's also a specific content type uh, where we have the fields so of the date, event name. Okay, and it's here, what we see is a module, uh, is a, a Cblood list module, okay, which displays the results. So we've limited the results, the result list to two, okay. It's sorted by uh, date sending, and we have a view or link here, which is managed by the module itself. So the viewer, we just said, okay, the view or link, link redirects to uh, a menu item, okay, where all the events are displayed. Filter by category, it's a module two. Um, filter by tags two. We've override uh, we've uh, overridden the. Um, it's uh, these are the Joomla tags, okay? But we've overridden the module view here to link, in fact, to instead of having the tag view from uh, Joomla, we have this view blog here 
uh, which is sorry at the bottom. So it's uh, the IBT blog, okay? So you can see the URL, but here we have the tags, and the link is not uh, to the tag view. It's in fact, yeah. Uh, you can see if it's loading. No. Yeah, we are on the blog, and we add a field. We have a field tag equal to six, which is the ID of the tag, and so uh, we have the same search but filtered by the tag number six. So we, we have a, a query with a join to the tag uh, table. So uh, we really override the, um, the tag system of Joomla, okay, to use it for, uh, for our list. Uh, we have, um, it's not display here, but it's dev website, as you can see. Uh, we have here a, a like feature, so users can say, okay, I like this article, okay. And so we have a most liked uh, module here. Again, it's a list where we're going to, where we do a query on a table because it's a Joomla plugin, okay. So it, it has its own table for the, um, to manage the number of likes for an article. So we do a query on this uh, table and in result, we just display so we use the list template I've talked about, just a ULLI, and we display uh, articles here with the, so the most liked is first. Um, we have a search here. Okay, so it's not the basic search of uh, Joomla. It's... Um, it's a search for, it's a sublet search. Uh, so you can filter, uh, so we can, you have a keyword here and we can search uh, different uh, content types, not only one, okay? So we can search for events, for uh, blog posts, for resources, for um, any content type we want, okay? Just want to show you contributors, contributors, Again, this view is a, is a search, but the content type behind is not based on articles. It's uh, based on users, okay? Uh, and so we've added some extra information for the users we displayed. Uh, and in their profile, so they are uh, uh, considered, there is a field to say, okay, you are a contributor, so you will be in this list. Okay? And it's sorted by name, yeah, by name alphabetically. I'm right, okay. Uh, so this is for this website. So really a basic one. Uh, it's a blog, so uh, no, ex no complex features. Okay. I move to another one where the job was more on the on the design because uh, so still for General Electric, so they had a new engine and so they wanted to uh, communicate on this one uh, so again behind it's a, it's a basic Joomla template all the content is managed by uh, cblog okay here for this content we've added some extra animation okay so but here it's basic well basic it's a CSS and HTML okay uh, but again uh, We've, we've used the background application for this one. So, yeah, it was more um, some design uh, stuff here. Okay, we have a media center. Okay, you can, uh, here it's more like a manager. Okay, you can see, so you have a search. You can search for uh, the type of document. So instead of having a basic uh, drop down list of type, we've chosen to display uh, icons uh, with the type, uh, the language, and just below you have you have the list and with an icon uh, representing the, the the type of document you're working on. Okay, so I can choose image. Okay, and you have you have a um, uh, thumbnail of the image. Okay. Um, always contact uh, is it's a form 
more complex than the other one. Okay. Um, so this is for this one. Um, what I can show you again, it's a French website about uh, ecology. So um, we have a counter and the data are retrieved from uh, Cblot content. Okay, there is JavaScript behind which that is the counter. Uh, what I wanted to show you is, uh, in fact, you have a page where you can find where you can um, put all you want to, all you don't, you don't need, okay? You have a map, in fact. Okay, search. Uh, what kind of uh, thing you want to throw and where is your uh, city, okay? So first, you need to select, okay, we, I want to, I've got a screen, okay? To I don't want to use, and I'm in let's say I'm in Paris. Paris. Okay. I've got um, different places where I can go. Uh, you know this. Uh, okay, when there are too many results. You uh, um, you have to zoom again to have the, the places so it's uh, to avoid too many markers on the map. Um, so again here uh, search uh, and uh, the template used here is a uh, is a map and when you click on the marker you have information about the place and this of uh, retrieved from fields okay of the content. And has been customized. The, the HTML has been customized. Uh, this means um, uh, for a template, when uh, so it works for uh, admin form, front end form, well site form, um, the and the list. You can override the positions uh, and set what you want uh, the, the HTML you want in it. And so it's a PHP file, okay, for uh, to override and. Uh, you have access to all the fields of um, of the current view, and so you can decide uh, how you want to display your information. Okay. Uh, so, and of course, it's a dynamic map. You can uh, you can zoom everything. So it's uh, standard stuff. This one I wanted to show you. The specificity of this one is it's an e-commerce website, okay, uh, and it's uh, French and English, and it's using um, uh, the multi-site feature of Cblot to manage this. Um, so I'm on the English part, okay, and you can see. So this is uh, these are articles, okay. We've set a specific content type where we have a title, a uh, price, and everything, and we have uh, e-commerce stuff. So with an add to cart button. And so this means, so here it's a search, okay, with a slider, and we have uh, come on. Oh yes, thanks. Yeah, okay, okay. Here we have the content, and here it's a list again. It's a search, so with uh, associations of articles, okay. But it's a search with a result list which is displayed on the right. Um, and the cart again, it's uh, everything is managed by Cblood. We don't, we didn't install uh, any e-commerce uh, extension for this, okay. But uh, the e-commerce extension is not. Available yet on the market? Uh, it's coming. It's coming. Yes. The links between. Yeah. Uh, it's. Uh, I think it's based on the category. Okay, because they are uh, they are in a category, and so we we display um, the products of the same category there. Okay. 
but we could also uh, choose when you create a product, you could also have a field where you will you will link other products. Okay, you will have a, a select or a checkbox where you say, okay, I want to check, I want to link this product with this one, this one, this one, and they will be displayed there. Um, in fact, we uh, we uh, always add features, uh, and uh, in fact, it's working. But it's uh, not um, um, there's no public release. You know, it's not yet uh, packaged, um, and um, I'm not working on this part, so I don't have. Uh, uh, so much information about the release date, but um, I um, hope it will be ready uh, in the next month. But uh, I don't have the official release date for this. Um, so e commerce for this one with a multi site feature. Mm. That's it. Uh, others, so we have um, well, other website uh, for uh, for general electric, but they are so either uh, because they have a private network, so I cannot show you uh, here. Uh, this one we've we've seen. Um, What would be you know, the other ones? Um, no, that this is not the last one. So Ecologic, we've done this. We've got yeah, this one is the uh, Australian government, and they have uh, they use the front end management feature uh, of Seblod. Uh, and with um, permissions management, so different users with different permissions to manage uh, different part of the content. You see, you have news and events, privacy, so uh, different users for uh, different sections to manage. This one was funny to do. In fact, here. No, uh, it's uh, this one. If I'm right. Yes. Here, it's a. Uh, Again, it's a, a list of products. The template is really has really been customized. But in fact, everything you see here, all the information here, everything is managed by uh, Seblood. So just um, some design stuff, but behind the process is the same. We, you, we display products and uh, information are displayed differently. Differently. That's all. Same for for this one. So a search, but different template for the layout. Different information, but. Uh, Things about the yeah glasses and the time to uh, for the recipe. Um, right. Okay, for me, um, 
Um, nothing more to show you. Maybe you have questions. You have uh, Cblood uh, project, so you have uh, things. Yeah. Since mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that's really great, but it's uh, so huge. Uh, I think it's impossible to uh, stay for two hours, uh, maybe two, two days or. Two no, I see what you mean. Yes. Uh, it's so powerful. Uh, yeah. Changing so much. Uh, great thing uh, besides the CCK functionality is uh, you really don't need so much extensions anymore. Uh, yes. And you use without servers. Yeah, on our yeah on our side we in fact we only install seven for now. Uh, we don't install uh, and the only thing we install is uh, AC mailing sometimes because what we can do is to uh, uh, based on articles you've created with Sublot you can choose. We have some features to um, um, create dynamic newsletters. In fact, you select your articles and you can have a button. Okay, uh, create a newsletter based on these articles, and in fact, the the, uh, the information is uh, from every article is grabbed, and it's based on a AC mailing template we've created. When we have tags in it, and we create the newsletter dyna dynamically from uh, articles in Sebloot, and after AC mailing manages the sending of the information. So uh, yeah, AC mailing. But after uh, mm, yeah, support for uh, everything. We don't use uh, Joomla categories, the views of Joomla categories. We only use uh, search list. Um, so um, yes, it's. Um, and we, yeah, we even uh, in internally we discover new things we can do with with it. So it's, uh, good. it's good, yes. And to be honest, uh, if I don't need several for four data, I don't need it. Yeah. It is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've been asked for this, uh, and maybe no, you've asked on the forum or uh, no on the Cibot forum. You've asked the you've asked the question. No. Oh, okay. Be I think uh, yeah because I've seen this on the forum. Uh, yes. Uh, um, it's been asked. The problem is depending on the content type you have, it's really hard to have some. Uh, a generic extension to to create a PDF uh, based on uh, content type. Use, um, JS PDF. Um, take the uh, and JSP. Okay. Yeah, uh, you mean to transform to transform the. You you have to um, set the coordinates on the. Sheet. Oh, okay. I see. Yes, okay. Very complicated. I see. But so no no magic solution for now for this. Yeah. Yes. You yeah, the only as I've mentioned is yeah, you can export as a CSV. Um or you can create a newsletter, but PDF for now we we didn't get a chance to to work on this. Um well I don't know maybe if you're starting quickly uh, one thing I don't know if you have already checked the uh, application um here the stuff here you know about this you're aware of this this one in fact I'm in the app folder okay where you so you can see here the quick folder Okay, where I've set my uh, I've set my template, my my field, and my search. So this is why we have one, one, one. And here I've got 
page two. We have Ciblon apps and we have background feedback places. So these are the applications I've installed okay, through the extension manager. I've got information of what kind of stuff is in every application. So I've got one content type, nine fields, and three uh, searches. I just click here. Ah, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not. No. Oh, oh, it's um, it's my uh because I'm on localhost. Shit. I think I have got a wrong uh, a wrong path maybe on the. Uh, no, this one. Mm. Uh, no, that's weird. Well, okay. What this should, you know, what this should do, in fact, <laughs> you click here, you have a zip file, which is in fact a Joomla extension. You go on another site, you install it, and uh, you have this, the same. So everything here is created automatically. So after you just have to uh, create your menu item for the well, what you need for the background. You just have to insert your image. If you do this for feedback, you already have your form and everything. So in fact, so when we come on the website, we come with um, with our application and we install them and uh, customize them if if we need. But in fact, uh, it's really quick to really fast to to create um, a ba well. The basic stuff on the, on the website. So, no more questions. Yes. So. I have. Uh, I want to um, make an event site. Uh huh. And um, it's the main event, but not it. It has to repeat in the list. I see. I see. You have uh, yeah events uh, recurring every week or every at the same day, the same hour, maybe or uh, different. Yeah, don't want to, um, yeah. You want to create one I content. Don't, I want to edit only one content with everything and uh, show it in the list with each day. Yes. Mm. This means one content. Uh, maybe what you could ha have is to create a, a group field. Mm -hmm. So this means you create a, in the group, how it works, you have to create a content type with uh, the start date and date field, mm -hmm. uh, maybe the location. So everything um, specific to one event, right, to one, yeah, one event. You have your content type, you create a group field based on this content type, you put it in your event content type. So you create your event, and so you will have, uh, well, it's a group, it's not a group, and you could clone your uh, start and date. Yes. So you would you would say, okay, for this event, I have 10 dates. Okay, would need um, event A, uh, on this date, event B, on this date, oh. A, on another date, uh, next, uh, um, List of all events. Yes. Yeah, and sorted by the dates. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you set, if you set um, uh, so in this case you have to you when you create event A, okay, with this date, this date, date. Event B with this date, this date, this date. But you want event A to be uh, written more than one time. That's it with the specific date. You would need a specific template for this, mm -hmm. where in fact you because what we do in a template we have a one for each loop, and we display an item and that's all. So in your case, you would need to first uh, loop on the, every items and check if it has more than one date, mm -hmm. 
and um, recreate, in fact, the array of results. And after, do your custom for each. With, uh, and so in your first uh, loop, you you would uh, yeah you you would build your result list. I think that's the only solution in this case. You see what I mean? So you can start uh, working on um, as a basic template. You can use uh, list sub list, which is free on the market. This one is really simple because in the index.php it only has a, a basic for each loop with the items. So can get this one and uh, yeah, uh, I think you would need yeah two for each loop. I would say yeah one for each to reproduce the re and after a read for each uh, to display the results with and in your case you would have more than the event A displayed more than once. Okay. Okay. So finished. Thank you. Oh, it's not working. Seven seventeen percent. Personal. Okay.